As you can see from the title of this video, uh, it's basically we're going to do a how to use a tire plug and fix a tire yourself. <clears throat> there are some situations when you go to a tire store and they basically tell you, like they told me this morning, I'm going to leave the shop unnamed because they're pretty cool guys. I didn't think they wouldn't do this for me, but uh, they basically said take it to a unreputable shop and they might fix it. Anyways, if you've never used a tire plug, we're going to show you how to do that today. Uh, so yeah, here's a quick little impromptu video. Right there. There's the hole. To me, I mean there's tread here, it's an off-roading tire. I would assume this is more the sidewall. You know, maybe from like this line down, this is all part of the tread, but whatever. I don't know, so... I'm gonna have to fix it myself. So what I'm gonna do first is you just fill up the tire with air. Might as well fill it up now, make sure that's the only hole so you don't do all this work and then afterwards you're like, ah oh, crap, gotta do it all over again. So Caleb's got a, a little leak. A little leak a little here leak. too. So we'll see what's up, I don't know. He can't find it. Oh, I haven't really looked for it. You haven't really looked for it, but maybe if he watches this video, it'll, <laughs> this tutorial will help him with this flat tire situation, or losing air tire situation. Alright, well, let's put some air in her, and make sure that's the only spot it's leaking from. Alright. Well, definitely come from there. Pretty sure that's the only spot it's leaking from. All right, well, let's get to work. So I got this pretty cool deal from uh, Old Wally World. It's a little bit more than the uh, than the cheap like two dollar kit, but uh, I kind of like it because it has a box. You know, once you're done with it, you're not like, oh, what do I store this thing? Look, it's already there, done. Put it away, hang it on your wall till next time. So, all right. So what you want to gonna do first? Pretty simple. Uh, you're gonna wanna take the. I guess that kind of roughs up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got some rough edges. What you wanna do is shove that guy in there. Oh yeah. I took some of it dangling, but I got it in. And you just kind of go up and down. Nice and easy, like. Maybe do it a couple more times. all that good so the next part is you got to take this guy okay and take one of these we'll start with one see if it works okay peel this off like so peel it back okay take one of those guys force it through there and then about halfway, you know, get it halfway in. You're gonna take that, and you're just gonna shove it in there. And the idea is, once it gets in all the way, when you pull it out, see it's split, I don't know, if it's split right there at the end, so the idea is, it's supposed to leave the plug in there, and this comes out by itself. Take one of these guys, Peel it off. Here's the other dude. Now here's the here's the interesting part. Oh, Josh's home. He'll get in there. Probably easier if he had some pliers. But 
got a whole new tire? No. I just got to plug it. They told me to get a whole new tire. Uh, I'm not going to get a whole new tire. It's like 275 bucks. So. so here we go. Just goes in. Hopefully get this done the first time. The, you want to go easy here because you could. You could split it before you even go in. So it's nice and slow. See, I'm starting to go in by itself. Just take it easy. Probably going as far in as you know you can. It's not a bad idea. And uh, so right there. Now the idea from here is you just yank it out, yank it out. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it comes out, or the plug stays in, and this comes out by itself. Ta da! Anyways, so what we'll do is we'll put some air in there and uh, see if it holds. And if it does hold, you can leave it like that, which is a little janky. Or you can come back and cut it down nice and flush. Nobody would be the wiser. But it doesn't really matter because this is on the inside of the tire anyway. So We want to do things right here and have it gracing. Ah, put some air in her. So you got a little bit of a split there. I don't know if you can see that. You can kind of see it. But there's a little bit of a split there, so... I don't know. We'll stick another plug in it and see if that helps. Yeah. Okay. Plug number two. Here we go. Well, sounds like it's holding air right now, but you can always light it on fire too. Goes light it on fire. Here's the thing though, I it. highly doubt this thing will hold air consistently. So sometimes if you only gotta use one plug, it could be a permanent fix. Uh, but a double plug like that is kind of a long split. I don't know. I have a feeling when we fill filling up my tire every once in a while, but hey. Oh, you just take a torch and heat it and it'll melt to it. Good. So we like to do things on the cheap here. We'll show you guys how to not spend a ton of money. Not spending a ton of money sometimes. You just got to do stuff like filling up your tire every once in a while so they get a new one. We'll see if this thing's holding air. We'll give it a little bit. We'll check the tire pressure and see what's up. Somehow I broke completely in half from this side to here. So in the last video, I don't know if you remember, Josh said that last time we went wheeling, he ripped this off. Saving money 101. The pad is still just fine. Yeah, the caliber is fine. I don't it's know just the how bracket. That, dude, that, that is broke. some thick. You know what I mean? Because I'm only running rear brakes. So when the cat when this is pushing in on the pad, it puts tension on this. It like twists it. And after two years of doing that, obviously it just stress cracks and sh whatever it just broke. Uh, Cracking the caliper right there. So. Oh, I don't even really see that. Are you running one break again this weekend? One break. How much is a caliper? The caliper's fine. But how much is a caliper? Like 60 bucks. Oh, the caliper is fine? You just gotta buy a bracket? Yeah, you just gotta buy the bracket. How much is the bracket? Uh, like, it's, well, it's 50 bucks for two, I think, from rough stuff. Okay. But I don't have 50 bucks. I got 50 bucks right now, but it's not too bad. It's a little bit cheaper for the weld. Yeah. I don't want to weld. Well, 
Actually, I should probably take the tire. Oh, look at that. My handy dandy kit came with the tire pressure gauge. Check the pressure on this puppy, see what we got. Five PSI, I think I need some more air. <laughs> Where's your uh, Canon or whatever? The real camera. Oh, I left it at home. I wasn't planning on doing a video today. Just gotta use my telephono. The old cellular mobile telephone. The digital. To bring the digital one, I don't trust these little things. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't at zero. There was some air in it. Over ten, maybe. Maybe it's working. So the thing about a plug is the nice thing about rubber is that as the tire fills, it's going to pinch those plugs even more. So we'll see. I don't know. It might be a permanent fix. I doubt it. But. Funny story. I think I don't think Josh Keller was there, but I think Matt, the guy filming, was uh, with me at this desert trip once. Oh I yeah. I seriously popped the tire, like two tires or whatever, on the first day. I had to drive like 30 miles to go into town. Matt was with me, drove in the guy was super weird. Oh, no, Chris was. Oh, well, it was Chris? Chris yeah. Was me. Chris was with me. That was super weird. Yeah. Like, like he was ticked that I brought him a tire to fix. I'm like, dude, you're in the middle of the desert. And you're the only tire, tire the only guy. tire shop for literally two hours. Gallagher is the name of the town. What's that town out there? Oh, uh. On the way to. I know, I know. It's, um. It's this town. It's that town right before. Gerlach. 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 Yeah. Anyways. Whatever, the guy fixed my tire, it was cool, but. So, we get done with the tire, get back, put the tire on, we start going for a ride. We get to our destination for the first part of the ride, and uh, wouldn't you know it, there's a giant thorn in the tire. It's like, you got to be kidding me, man. It's the third time I fixed a tire in like a day and a half of being out here. So I'm like, yeah. So I pull the thorn out. The tire starts hissing. I'm like, oh no. I stick the thorn back in. The tire stops hissing. Seems to be holding air. Take the thorn out, it's hissing. Put it back in, not hissing anymore. I'm like, hmm. I noticed that the thorn thin at the point and it gets thicker, right? So I shove the thorn in a little bit more into the thicker part of it and I break off the thorn right at, right at the top. Actually, no, I think I had a, a, a pocket knife with me and I cut it flush with the, with the tire. This is on the tread side. It's on a quad. Anyways, long story short, we the rest of the weekend with the thorn in there. Went back to camp, filled up the tire, squeezed down on the thorn, super tire held air all weekend, and for like another couple rides after that, just trying to prove a point that, screw it. If it ain't that broke and it works, then they'll fix it. Alright folks, well, seems to be holding air. Let's just put the little kit back together here. Boom, chicka, boom, boom. Done. Put it away. My uh, to go box. I always have this in my truck at all times, just in case. 
would have been way easier to use a drill, all that stuff. If you got a chance to do this at home, you got a drill, use a drill to do that. But I use my go box just to kind of maybe simulate a on the road situation, even though you're not going to have an air compressor. Whatever, I don't know. 